everyone and welcome back and today I thought we would do something um, from somebody that asked me a question and the question was what did I like best for mark making with the white was it the acrylograph pen or the Posca pen because they were struggling with the Posca pen kind of disappearing into um, their paints and so I was like huh I've never really done a white test before so I was gonna paint some new paintings and then we could test the whites but I thought I got plenty of junk paintings <laughs> that we could just pull out and do some white testing and see so I just pulled out junk things I threw over in my junk bin that I've kind of done you may have seen or not seen or who knows I was playing and experimenting and cutting stuff up and so I thought let's just see what we can experiment on here with all the whites that I could find so this one I kind of like this one this one looks like a good test for the white um, and I thought you know because it's different mediums it'd be a really good example of what the different mediums are gonna do on with the white markers and pencils and stuff so this is a Posca pen that was kind of a medium kind of medium tip there it's called the uh, bullet shaped tip let's see I, that's the same that's a bullet shaped tip this is the acrylograph which I love the acrylographs because they're also acrylic paint let me get this one started um, they're acrylic paint also and I thought that this would give us all a really good example of what each of these kind of does let's just draw a little line beside that how about that and you're gonna have to remember what I do on each of this because by the time I get further down I am not gonna remember what these were okay so this is I've just dug through every pencil and pen I could find which you know because I do art hauls and collect art boxes and things like that you know I, I had a lot to dig through <laughs> this is the Zig Fudby Yori pigment brush white pen that obviously came in a sketch box I'm sure because they are the ones that do the deals with um, the Kiritake which has a Kiritake brand okay and then we've got the Stedler white brush which came in a little set okay so so far Posca is doing the best out of these this is a deco color opaque paint marker okay these definitely take a while to get started so this is that same deco art opaque marker but a smaller tip and I did actually get this one started so that'll be a good indicator of how those are but again it's I think these are oil based they really really stink okay here we got a Faber Castell pit artist pen in a white brush that's a very transparent see a big fat no on that one here is an Edding pastel soft white so let's see see all of these have varying degrees of what you can get out of them here this is a graphic acrylic paint marker I think it was a real cheap set that I got a while back that I thought oh acrylic paint marker let's see if I can even get it oh there we go it's another acrylic paint marker a bit like the Posca pen but that one kind of sinks right down into the paint and disappears so I don't know about that graphic one we'll say no on that one I got a jelly pen let's see if I can get that started I never used the jelly pens, so I don't know oh yeah okay so it does it's okay I would say that to that one too okay so that's all the different pins I do like the Posca pin up top and the Archer and Olive acrylograph pin but you can kind of see um, what these other ones did do you like it do you not like it is it close enough I don't know I also recently got this one 
to try out. And I know those were on a little bit darker colors, but some of these others just sink in. And you'll have to look back at the video to see which line was which. <laughs> or I'll have to look back at the video. Because whatever this one was, it was okay. Oh, you know what? That's the deco pen, but that's the one that really stinks. So I would say out of my favorites on these pens, those three look the best. And those two are the most common. This one just stinks. So that's what I'm thinking on those. Those two are still my favorite. This I just got. It's Copic, uh, Copic Opaque White with a built-in fine brush. And I thought, ooh, that might be nice. It's a little tiny brush, so I don't have to have another brush. And we can just kind of see, like, what can we get out of it? Might be harder to get a dot unless we use a, um, a different brush, but that's looking pretty white, white. Look at that. Okay, I also have, and we'll have to use these with like a dip pen. So let me grab, a, let me find a dip pen back here in my little hodgepodge of stuff. I'm just gonna pull a regular dip pen. This is the Windsor and Newton white ink. And we'll just see what we can get here. Okay, keep in mind I'm using a dip pen. So it is very fine, but you know, I could try it with a little paintbrush and see, is it at least equal to what we just did? So let's just grab a little, oh, it's a little bit bigger than a little, but let's just see if we use this with a brush. Okay, it's definitely more transparent. Okay, that was super duper fine and a bit transparent. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. We also have FW White Acrylic Ink. I like acrylic inks. Um, so with this one, a lot of times I will use the dauber to create things. Um, we could also use a brush get our little brush back out and see because I want to know are these opaque to what level so not as opaque as the one we just did um, but not as this one's still a tiny bit more solid up there and also have uh, this is the Kuretake white ink might not even open this one because might not get this one open. It's either glued itself shut or it's got something holding it. I think it's, oh, there we go. It glued itself shut. <laughs> okay, this one looks like it needs to be stirred up or something. So, might just get a palette knife out here. Um, so it is very thick. It does, can be stirred. Excellent. It's fun to kind of, ooh, let's make a mess everywhere. It's fun to test these out with you guys. I'm going to wipe this off because I don't want it to color our thoughts here. And I kind of want to see how thick that is, like white-wise, if we're doing like a dot or if we're doing like a line, what that would look like. Okay, so that is the Kuretake white ink looks about the same as the other it's very similar there in whiteness there and then i've got the bleed proof white which is very thick stuff let me get that brush back out i was i got it to try to use it with um, stencils uh, but i think it would be better with like a paint brush okay that's like super duper Nice. Okay, so top three so far for me on what is the best whites so far are these. So, oh, and this one. Okay, we got a top. We got a top four right now. So let's move these over here. We also got Higgins White India Ink. So let's just test what that does, and that'll. Hmm. 
the India ink is not as vivid as the black India ink. So I was like, meh, I think that's going to fade as it dries. I think it's going to fade into our piece. Let me get these off of there. This is Liquitex white acrylic ink. We'll have to let that dry to see what it does. That one's in the air. I also got some white paints. We'll put that there. We'll think about it. Got some white paints to maybe test. This one is Arteza Titanium White. Kind of wanting to know more of a is it opaque enough to use with a stencil? Where did that lid go? There we go. And that is semi-transparent. So, eh. I also got some fluid acrylic in white. Let me just throw a little bit of this out. Um, maybe shake it up first. This is the uh, Vallejo white. And we'll just see. Is that, how transparent is that? Okay, that one's decent. It is a uh, fluid acrylic, so, but that one's a little better than the Arteza for opacity. We'll put this one on the maybe side. These will be my maybe pulls. This is Liquitex Basics. Oh. This one's a little more transparent. And it could be the way I'm brushing it on. Could totally be the way I'm brushing it on. Um, we got the Blick Matte Acrylics, which we know I like the matte acrylics. Let's just open that, grab a little bit of that. Okay, definitely like the Blick Matte Acrylic too. Okay, so those are yays. This one down here is still kind of sitting on top. Let's see if I spread that. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of semi-transparent. But if we kept it as a dot and we let it dry long enough, which would take a while, um, that might be a good white dot, could be. Um, so we're on the fence about that. Okay, so let's go into, I almost want to do, okay, so favorites, Copic, opaque white that one was fantastic bleed proof white that one was fantastic posca white and acrylograph white by archer and olive those two were really nice up here up top and i would say comparable to each other i also have the other white favorite let's grab it before i move to the other page with pencils um, this is the Liquitex Professional uh, Titanium White, and you usually see me pull this out with stencils. It's supposed to be uh, more opaque, and it actually looks basically like these other ones. So there we go. That's kind of interesting. I like it because it's thick, and with the stencils it does tend to work a little easier for me than the fluid paints, so that's why you see me pull that one out. All right, so... Bleed Proof and Doc Martens, definitely the two paint pens. Um, and the Blick Matte Acrylic and Titanium White, I liked both of those. So those, we're going to call those my favorite pulls from the paint and markers for the white. Then, let's look at the pens and pencils. I got lots of those and pastels. So this is the Stabilo Woody in the white. Okay, that one not really showing up so not great let's see we've got the Karen Dash pastel white got a little bit of a drag because it's pastel that's okay this one is white chalk by create a color and that's basically gonna be like a pastel that's okay it's got a drag too when you're coloring Prismacolor premier white Oh, now this one's a nice, this one feels good when you're using it. Holbein Artist Color Pencil in the white. Eh. Here we've got uh, Koinori Poly Color in the white. Eh. 
All right, Faber-Castell Polychromas. These tend to be some of my very favorite pencils right now because they're oil-based and they're really smooth to use, but I haven't tried the white. Oh, I still like the white. All right, I still like the white. These are still my favorite pencils right now. I've got some metallic pens and there's a metallic white here. This is Sun Shiler. All right, fail. That's a fail. <laughs> I think these are cheap pens and they, they just kind of, they dry out pretty fast. We'll say big fat fail there. Okay, so I've got Sketchbox, a little Derwent um, custom set, but it's got a white in it, so I thought we'd look at it. These are the white Graphitint, so that's the graphite pencils. Oh yeah, okay. I'd say that's a win. That one feels pretty good. All right. Excellent. I'm going to have to look back at my own video to see what we did here. See which ones I liked. Oh, I got a white here. This is the Chroma Flow by Derwent. Oh yeah, I like that one. Okay, I like the Chroma Flow pretty good. None of them are giving you the yummy, crisp white that the paints are giving us though, if you've noticed that. I'm trying to even do this on the darker so we can really, really see it. So here's a Winsor Newton sketching pen set that I haven't even gotten into. Um, I, like, I like having these for the moments when I want to draw, but this came in, a, in an art box and so I've just saved it. And it's got a white in it and I, I think it's a charcoal. Yes, white charcoal. Okay, yeah, that's okay. White charcoal is okay. Put our little lid here and keep that. We like those. Okay, so this this is from the uh, the matte pit set that is my very favorite. That was in that sketch box box that I curated. Um, oh, and see this pit pastel, the soft pit pastel. So that's a soft pastel. Um, that definitely is so far the best white um, so soft pastel pencil that's a good choice um, this is a charcoal set I pulled out I didn't know if I had a white in it or not but we just tried a white charcoal so I think we got our answer but let's just do it right here okay so the white charcoal very comparable to the white pastel pencil that was Faber-Castell's charcoal so white charcoal is good, white pastel is good. Okay, so I also have my mungos over here. I've got a whole drawer of things. Um, all right, yes to the mungyo white. Oh, it's gonna be one of my favorite all time evers. <laughs> also got a Karen Dash oil pastel. That's an oil pastel, the mungyo is. This is the Karen Dash oil pastel. Um, yeah, so I like that also. That's a win-win. I like the Mungyos a tiny bit better than Karen Dashes. Karen Dashes are a little bit harder, and the Karen Dashes are more expensive. Okay, we've got a oil pastel Sennelier. These are like a little bit like painting with lipstick. Um, that's really good too, but it does kind of. It's so soft it didn't sit on top of itself in layers as good as the Mungyo, but I do love those Sennelier's. They're really buttery and yummy to use. They're the creme de la creme, but having said that, I do like my Mungyo's best. Okay, so here's a Carbon Fello set, which is chalk pastel pencils, which I may have already used one of these. These are Stabilo Carbon Fello white. That's okay. I like that other one that we did better. Um, but that's pretty decent. That's a, that's a pastel. I like that other pastel we did better. Okay, I got some tinted charcoal here. Let's try the white tinted charcoal and see. Okay, that one's a good one. Tinted charcoal, charcoal and pastel pencil for the win. We've got graphitint. Let's try the graphitint. Oh yeah, that one's pretty good too. Just to kind of come closer with some of those for you to look at. Just trying every white under the sun. 
Okay, got some. Hmm, if I'm gonna spread some white paint around, maybe I need to move wet paint out from under these. <laughs> okay, these are the pit pastels. Did I already have a pit pastel? I feel like I did. Uh, I have the Karen Dash and the Creative Color. Okay, this is the pit pastel. Oh yeah, okay, pit pastel. Definitely the most vibrant of the pencils. So the Faber Castell Pit Pastel pencils. That one's a win. All right, so I've got Derwent Color Soft pencils. Let's pull a white out of here. White must be on the bottom. Yes, it is. Okay, so these are Color Soft pencils. So these should these should um, be pretty soft. Okay, that one's okay. Eh, kind of fades into the back. So, so-so on Color Soft. And I'm sure it depends on what you're using these on. They've got their uses. I am testing them for mark making and stuff on the top of our pieces because I've had so many questions about what white is the best. And this is the best way for you to see a million whites in a fairly easy easy way okay so that was okay this is there went watercolor pencil and Chinese white it was okay it's a watercolor pencil so we could add water to that and turn it into basically nothing because it's white <laughs> so eh. okay we got some ink tints I think we're down to the bottom white ink tints let's see I'm kind of interested about the white ink tints Okay, so I'd say white ink tints, not my favorite. So I'd say that pastel one right there is the best white pencil. And you'll have to tell me what that was again because I'm gonna have to look, I don't remember what that was again. Um, that was the best white pencil, that one that we did there. Okay, so I'm sure there's more white stuff in my art room but I feel like we tested out an absolute ton of whites here um, in this little white test. And I'll take pictures of these and you can maybe match them up as you're watching the video possibly. I don't know. I'm, I don't know how I'm going to remember what those are either. But uh, very favorites for me were whatever that pastel right there was. That was the pastel pencil. Um, that one. And I'll, I'll have to look that up. Urgh! And these uh, white ones here, those, those were my favorites. So got the Copic white, opaque white. Um, that probably is the very best of all of these um, for ease of use and for vivid whiteness there, not soaking into stuff. So if you're having trouble with, say, your Posca pens kind of disappearing into watercolor ink, you might not have enough of the paint on the tip you might need to pump it and get more paint on the tip but if that's a struggle for you this is the white that is giving the best result and you know we might could there's this little thing I see other people do and I pulled it out in an art hall and I tried it and I was like eh. but these are little clay tools with the the little circle the little round heads um, but people were using this they were dipping this into the ink and using this to make dots. Let me get it down into the ink. There we go. And doing dots with it, you know, and whatever size end you got or however much ink you've got on here. And if you use the runny ink, this stuff, you know, kind of keeps coming down a little bit towards the edge. So, you know, you could do some good dot making um, with something like that. Um, so just something to think about. You could use uh, some of these little tools like that with that white and just do some practicing and get your mark making down pat. Um, you could also maybe even just be really careful and tap. No, I'm not getting a circle out of that at all. <laughs> it did, it did kind of work with these little round bald clay things by Musan. Mu Mu I don't know if that even has a 
name on it. Oh, here we go. 10 piece ball stylus dotting tools. It's used in clay, but you could use it with inks and stuff too. So that might be an option with the more liquidy inks and trying to get pretty dots out of it. Um, just a thought. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this a yummy review of all the different whites that I could pull out and show you today and maybe you found a new favorite for your whites and now my favorites I know exactly are these five bleed proof white copic opaque white black matte our turn olive and una una the uh, posca pen those are my favorite whites and whichever this was i'll have to go back and take a look but that was the most vivid white out of all the pencils and the mungyo pastel those are my favorites all right hope you enjoyed this look at all the whites and i'll see you guys next time